Okay, so I'm just going to talk about... Right, let me touch and move the camera a bit. Okay, so I'm going to talk about things I don't quite get, things I don't quite understand. So, there are a lot of things that I don't get. Now, one of them is when I'm on the bus going to college or coming back from college or going to see a relative because I don't drive, you know, I have to get the bus around everywhere. So, when I get on the bus, when you press the bell for the bus to stop, if one person's pressed it, why do other people press it? Like, the bus isn't going to stop three times as quicker. Doesn't make any sense. Another thing that doesn't make any sense, why do we pay people to do things we can do ourselves? Sec third thing that doesn't make any sense, why is it that somebody can't like a certain country or like a certain culture without being called obsessed with it or without them having to be from that country? Like for me, I love Italy. If, some if someone else was to learn French, Spanish, German, uh, Portuguese, Esperanto, uh, click on, whatever whatever language somebody wants to learn, why can't they just learn that language? Why can't they learn that language? And I know click-on's not, not, not as widely spoken as the other languages I mentioned, but if somebody wants to learn language and if someone wants to take such an interest in a culture, that should be their choice to do that and they shouldn't have to be from that country. Billions and billions of immigrants come into England all the time. <clears throat> okay, millions. Millions of immigrants live in England at the moment. In fact, the second most spoken language in England, in England at the moment is Polish. I can't go to one high street shop without there being a Polish shop. I can't go to one high I can't go to one high street without there being a Polish shop, uh, you know, a Polish sklep or you know, uh, a Polish uh, delicatessen or whatever. You know, if not that, then it's one of those shops that does like the, um, uh, like one of those Romanian shops as well, or the shops that do like Romanian, Russian, Bulgarian, Polish food, like all those types of food. So that doesn't make sense to me. Millions of people, millions of... I'm not an immigrant, I don't mind pointing to myself, I was born here. Millions of people that live in this country, they come to our country, they learn our language, they dive into our culture, and no one questions them about it. But when someone else does it from a first world country, like from England, from America, you know, whatever other first world... You know, other popular first world countries, and well, when they go to live in a, in a particular place, everyone's like, oh, have you got a family there? Oh, um, uh, what, why are you interested in this country? Why this country out of all the countries? Yeah, it is. It's one out of many countries, so I don't know what you're talking about. Why do people take pictures in weird places? Like, people take pictures in the toilet. People, and I've, I've seen a picture on the internet where somebody took a picture in the toilet and you could see their poo in the actual toilet behind them. Blech, disgusting. Why do people take pictures in the bathroom? Like, what? I'm not this kind of girl. I, if I do, I make sure that it's not obvious that I'm in, like, a bathroom. So, you know, a toilet, fucking hell, fucking American English, right? Um, I make sure that if I'm taking a picture in a toilet, in a public toilet, that if there's, like, a nice little background, I'll take a picture there. Or I'll take a picture against the wall or something. I'm not going to take a picture in the mirror and you can see all the toilet cubicles behind me. I find that a bit just a bit strange so what why do why do girls do that why do guys take pictures in the bathroom like you know they come out of the bath or they cut they come out of the shower they have a mirror or a cabinet or whatever and they take a picture in that and it's all like i don't know what the obsession is with taking guys taking a picture in the bathroom i don't get it what you, do you think it's going to make you look more hot if you take a picture in the bathroom i mean i'm pretty sure straight girls would appreciate it just as much if you took a picture in the back garden with your your shirt off Another thing that doesn't make sense, without touching on too much of a sensitive topic, by the way, if you're white, fully white, black, fully black, you can't comment on this, unless you're mixed race. Yeah, mixed race people are just that, mixed race, mixed race, mixed race, whatever, hence the name, mixed race, mixed race, your, your race is mixed. So, you know, I have a white father, yes, I know, a white father, it does happen, get over it. And a black mother. Yes, it's not the other way around. Deal with it. So I have a white father and a black mother. And together, that makes... They come together. They came together, obviously, many years ago. And here I am. A mixed-race child. As you can see by my skin. As you can see, I am mixed-raced. You know, I'm not any more black than I am white. I'm not any more white than I am black. To say that I'm black... And this is facing the facts here. So if you're ignorant, then get off of the video. Because you're not going to understand this. But if you... If you're if you are open minded, then continue watching. My mother, to, right to say that to say that I am black, 
is ignoring the existence of my father. To say that I am white is ignoring the existence of my mother. So you can't say that I'm either white or black because then you're basically ignoring that one of my parents exists and the other doesn't. So you, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, here's another thing that doesn't make any sense. Why are we still saying British when we mean English? A lot, I find the, the number one country that is the most guilty for this, and I know people from this country are going to see this. Americans, I'm sorry, I can't say I love you because I don't, but you're all right, people, some of you. But the ones that are not, you know, I'm well, I, right, I'm not going to go there. But yeah, some of you are really nice, some a major, a minority, in my opinion. Just this is just how I feel about Americans in general. Um, you, 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 you say British, right? British, when you mean English. Britain is an island, right? We have the Isle of Wight, Isle of Man. We've got Wales. Wales is next to us here, by the way. I don't think a lot of you know that, right? I'm gonna face this way, right? So you've got, you've got, right? So you've got England. England is like kind of like here, and then to the side of us, you've got Wales, and then above us, you've got Scotland. And then a little bit across the sea, just a little bit, you've got Ireland here, and you've got Northern Ireland above. And then you've got the Isle of Wight, Isle of Man, Jersey, Guernsey, kind of down the bottom here. You know, um, <clears throat> so it's an island. So when you say a British accent, are you trying to... What you what that means, is, this isn't what you mean, but what, the, what that means when you say a British accent, you're referring to all the countries within the British Isles, which doesn't make any sense. Because there is not one person that I've I have not I've I'm yet to meet one person who is from Jersey, Guernsey, Isle of Man, Isle of Wight, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, and England. <clears throat> I'm yet to meet somebody that's from all nine, ten places, and there's probably more places that belong to us, like maybe Bermuda. I don't know, I'm not too sure, but yeah. Um, so that doesn't make any sense to me when you say that. I don't personally get that. Um, doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah, that is something that just I you what huh? Like no, you no. I'm sorry. If you mean an English accent, say an English accent. If you mean a Scottish accent, say a Scottish accent. Don't call Scottish people English because I know they get that a lot. They're Scottish, not English. They're England is separate from Scotland. Wales is separate from England. Northern Ireland and Ireland are separate, hence the border. You know, so don't treat us the same. Don't. Don't categorise us and put us all in one box, you know? I wouldn't say, oh, this person's from the Americas. I'd be specific. America, Canada, you know, or uh, uh, Mexico. You know, I, I'd be specific about it, you know? And, and I, I, would not, I, would, I wouldn't dare compare a Canadian person. I love Canadian people. I wouldn't dare compare a Canadian person to an American person. I, I'd never do that. Never. The accents, the accent, yeah, obviously... There are slight similarities, well, not slight, but there are uh, some similarities, apart from the way, obviously, Canadians say about, that can sometimes come out like about, about, um, and then, <clears throat> that was me doing the Canadian accent, <laughs> uh, and also Canadians speaking Canadian English, they understand British English more. That is something you can categorise for all of us, because everyone all over speaks British English, but we also have our own type of English. There's English English, there's Scottish English, there's Welsh English, there's Irish English, and every country's got their own type of slang that they use. Like, I know up in Scotland, if, you, if they're still going to say, oh, kissing, like, they might say winching, I know that. You know, um, Scottish say we to mean small, like, like a wee bit, you know. So I know that Scottish people have their slang. I'm sure Welsh people have their slang. I'm definite, def for definite, Welsh people have their slang, you know. Um, and all the other islands, you know, below us and, you know, next to us, whatever, they, you know, they all have their own type of language. Wow. Okay. They all have their own type of slang. That's what I meant to say. Okay. So that's all I have to say for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, if you disagree with any points that I've made in this video, leave a thumbs down. Hate is welcome too, just as much as positivity. So yeah, if you want to leave a positive comment or a negative comment, comment in the box below. I hope you have a nice week and I will see you again soon.